Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and in today's video, I just want to talk about what it's been like having these Quaternix quail for one week. And so we have four fully grown female Quaternix quail, and then we have 18 three-week-old chicks. Well, they were three-week-old when we got them. Now they're about five weeks, and the full-grown female should be around seven or eight, so they should be starting to lay eggs soon. I do have a light on them to give them 14 hours a day of daylight. That way they are kicked into egg production. And I am feeding them a high-protein feed because they're a game bird, and the game birds, uh, like quail or turkey, need a higher protein, um, you know, keep up with egg laying, and that's just, you know, they're designed that way, the feed's designed that way for those type of birds. And so I have some stuff here that I've learned, and I'm gonna go off of here that uh, we learned in the first week, um, some stuff that kind of surprised me, and some stuff that I was kind of expecting. And so I knew this was coming whenever I got these birds, but they are messy animals. And so they eat, drink, and poop a lot. Um, they don't really care where they go to the bathroom. Sometimes they go in their water, they go in their feed, uh, wherever. And so it's important to have your feed um, in a container that has a lid on it. And I did have one in there for a while, but um, they were just fighting over it. They weren't really fighting, but they were just really struggling to get in there and eat. So I changed it out, but um, they still somehow, they like they poop in their water dish and they're just messy animals. And so if you are gonna keep them in your house, Make sure you have a tray or something that's easily to move, uh, easily removable that you can take and dump out and clean. Next thing I learned is that these birds are really easy to handle. They do fidget a little bit and they're a little bit skittish, but for the most part, they're very mild mannered. If I stick my hand in to get one, um, they kind of just walk around a little bit. If I get too close, they try to take off. But if you can corner one, you can grab one and you don't have to really squeeze it to hold on to it. Um, they do fidget a little bit, like I said, but they'll calm down after a few seconds and you can pet them or hold them, do whatever you want. Um, move them easily and they're not super strong and so really anybody even a kid could pick one up and move them around um, you know they're not toys so don't let your kids just fling them around because they are somewhat fragile because they are you know a really tiny bird but they're pretty hardy birds too the cold really doesn't bother them at all if you are reaching to get one and you lose one outside of the cage they are pretty easy to catch thank goodness i haven't had to catch one but they're ground birds they don't fly that well they kind of just jump and flutter in place so um, eventually they'll tire out and you can catch one easily. At least that's what I've seen on YouTube. But thank goodness I haven't had to deal with that. Another thing I realized is that these birds are extremely easy to maintain. Honestly, it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes out of my day total to deal with these birds. I go out once in the morning, give them their food, give them fresh water, and then I go out around 4, 30, 5 o'clock in the evening, refresh the water for the chicks. Don't give them any food because they're still good for the day. And then I go out once more around 7.30ish just to put the light up for the adults. And then, um, you know, I don't mess with the chicks at all. And so that could really take me probably 5 or 10 minutes, um, 15 minutes total. If I really was pushing myself, I had to be somewhere and didn't want to mess around. But I'm hanging out the hutch, holding the birds, just getting used to them, letting them get used to me. That way whenever they see me coming, they know it's good things and not to run and be deathly afraid of me. So um, I do spend a little bit of time back there, but if you really had to, you could take care of these birds in like five minutes at a clip. Just go back, feed water, leave. Um, it's even gonna be faster once I have the chicks out in the main hutch with the rest of the birds because they're all in one location then. But if you're looking for something that doesn't take a big time commitment, this would be it. Now it did take a good time commitment up front, building the hutch, buying the supplies. Um, that did take some time. It took about a week in the evenings for me to build the hutch if you had it all day free, you could probably do it in two or three days. Um, you could you could probably do it on the weekend if you had help with you. Uh, if it was nice outside just to build it. Um, if you had your materials ready, build it from the ground up. Um, the hutch that I built at least, you could easily do it in a weekend. That little hutch or the little brooder box that I have for the chicks in the shed, that took me an hour to make. I already had the wood laying around, cut the wood, um, screwed it together, put the mesh around the outside. Now I did have help. But it took about an hour or so to make, not long at all. Uh, but it obviously is less complicated than the hutch. But these don't take much of a time commitment at all to maintain. Another thing that I noticed that I really didn't learn, because I knew these weren't extremely noisy birds, but they are pretty much quiet all the time. Now, I don't have any roosters that are crowing yet. Uh, they probably will here in a couple next couple weeks. But even the females, like they'll chirp every now and then. If they're under stress, like if I'm in there trying to catch one and I hold it, it sometimes chirps. Um, it'll make noise and it doesn't really sound any different than a native bird like a robin or something in the tree and so honestly people in the neighborhood probably don't even know i have them the only reason they know is because they drive by and see a hutch and wonder what's in it but they don't really make hardly any noise at all and so the last thing i want to point out is something that i really didn't learn i knew about this as well 
is that they're pretty inexpensive. The birds themselves, I got them off hatchpoultry.com that are up in Maine. Um, free shipping for orders over $75. I got the females from them, they were $10 each. Then I got the chicks, they were three weeks and they were $3 each. And then you can get eggs for like 30 eggs for like 15 bucks. And so pretty cheap if you ask me. Um, you know, especially I got enough that I got free shipping, so it was definitely worth it. Because right around here, I don't really know of any farms or anything that's, you know, growing quail and selling them. So I got them from a good, reputable farm, organic, humane. Um, they treat their quail very well. And so um, that's where I got them. Now, you are going to have some upfront costs if you want to get an incubator to uh, hatch your own eggs the upfront costs of getting the wood and your time to build the hutch. Those things do cost more, but the birds themselves don't cost much at all. In the feed, I get a 50 pound feed from track, 50 pound bag of feed from Tractor Supply for around 17 or $18. Um, it's a game bird starter. It's non-medicated. I would like to get non-GMO or organic, but they didn't really have what I needed there. Um, that worked well for these birds. I wanna make sure they have enough protein um, but you know, I might be able to get an organic feed that has less protein and then supplement it with mealworms or sunflower seeds ground up. Um, but then you have to also provide them with some kind of grit, maybe some oyster shells. Um, but just for sake of ease, I just got this feed and it's 17 bucks for a 50 pound bag, which really isn't bad at all. Now I'm not really looking to make money on these quail. If I can, I'll sell some eggs because I'm sure eventually if I have about as many females as I think I'm going to have, um, I should probably have around 15 females. Um, including the ones that I ordered as full grown females, um, 10 to 15 of them. And so if they are actively producing eggs every single day, which they usually do if they have enough light, I would be getting 10 to 15 eggs a day and we're not going to go through that many. So if I can sell eggs or just give them away, that'd be nice. Um, I don't know what the future looks like as far as buying an incubator, growing them out and harvesting them as a meat bird. I know a lot of people do that and it's a very mild meat but I'm not really interested right now in selling them. This is more of just a project to become self-sufficient. And what I'm learning in general is that being self-sufficient really isn't that hard. These birds are not hard to take care of at all. You feed them, you let them go, and they'll just do their thing. Um, you know, give them a spot to get out of the wind uh, whenever they are growing, whenever they're chicks. Like right now, it's a little bit too cold to put them out. So I have them under a heat lamp for part of the day. Um, so, but whenever it's the summertime, you really don't have to worry about that too much. Just when they're really little chicks, you have to do that. But overall, just really easy to take care of, not expensive at all, and a great choice for your homestead or your farm or wherever. If you're looking to get an animal to either give you some eggs or maybe as a meat bird, um, if you're gonna wanna use it as a meat bird, you're gonna need a little bit bigger of an area to grow them out, incubate them, so on and so forth. But if you're just looking for eggs, you know, it doesn't take much room at all. So. Those are the things that I learned having quail for a week. I'm sure many more things are to come for me learning. Um, if you have any suggestions, let them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe for more videos. Click the bell, that way you're notified when they go live. And I have some videos coming up, more on quail. We're starting to set up our garden stuff, planting some seeds out. So make sure you guys stay subscribed, stay tuned, because more videos are coming your way. And so thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.